Hey guys, today is a really exciting day. I want to introduce to you a new model. I've, I've, uh, it's a collaboration between Neem Tenji and myself. Uh, Neem Tenji from Gurkha's Blade. You know, he's a business, obviously. Um, but first, I just want to show you a quick scale comparison with the, uh, with the Thapa fighting kukri that I received before. Here is the left-handed sheath. Neem did send it as promised. Uh, it's got the new, it's a little bit stiff, it's got the new Chakmak and Kata that he sent with me as well, and they do the new Chakmak does throw sparks, like you promised. So here's the Thapa. So you can see it's quite massive, um, very long. A lot of people are saying it's it's too long, it's it's too heavy, and um, but I thought it was pretty close to what I wanted. So I'll chuck that here, and then we'll bring out the. Um, do it that way. Bring out the star of the show. So I want to introduce to you my new design. It's called the Sun Dog, Sun Dog Kukri. And uh, as you can see, Neem's done this amazing handmade badge that's actually affixed to the frog. And uh, this is a, a little bit shorter, but we'll compare specs very shortly with the Thapa. But um, there's two things that I really want to point out. The difference between the two, the starters, as you can see, this is going to be quite a lot broader. So here it is. This is the Sun Dog Kukri. It's, um, it's over 100 grams lighter than my Thapa. So the Thapa came in at 800 with its custom weight. It's normally 830. Now, my Sun Dog Kukri has come in at 670 grams. So it's quite a lot lighter. It's hollow ground or hollow forged at the front which gives it a better balance. And uh, the handle's a little bit shorter as well, and it makes a huge difference. It's got a distal taper, if you can see that, and uh, that also improves the balance as well. Now the Thapa, the way they've done that is they've actually ground out the fullers in the side, which is a clever way of doing it, and it's achieved a very similar effect, but because this is quite a bit lighter, it's quite a lot faster, and uh, it has come Scary sharp. I mean this this thing is is incredibly sharp. I, I did a single pass down my arm and now it's missing hair. Um, I can I could probably show that but um, I don't think I will in this video I think I'll save all of the sharpness testing and all of the testing for the review video This is just an introduction as you can see it's got my standard custom solar wheel that I that I put on all my custom kukris. The Thapa came with it as well. That isn't standard for the Thapa. That's actually a custom thing that I added. And I have it for my Sun Dog Kukri as well. It's got some runes inscribed up here. And that just says balance. In, in the Elder Futhark runic system, it says, it says balance. And then in the Kaudi position, you have the rune Sawilo which is a solar rune, it means the sun. And what inspired me for this piece, and I'll put a photo of one up uh, at the end, is of a parhelion, or also known as sun dogs, or a sun dog, and that's what, this, that's what inspired me for this piece. It's also the name of my forge that I have here at home, and uh, so I figured it would be fitting that they share a name, so. That's the sun dog there. Again, you can see if, if I compare the two side by side, you'll see there's a bit more of a curve to the sun dog. Uh, and the blade, if I actually line these up properly, is a bit shorter. So if I line the bolsters up, you'll see that the, the sun dog's shorter, probably by about three centimeters in the blade and perhaps a centimeter in the handle. Uh, it starts as the same thickness in the spine as the Thapa, but it's got the distal taper so it thins out towards the top and it's quite a bit lighter. Uh, the blade grind is also finer on the Sun Dog Kukri, so that means it'll be more slicey, it won't be as robust. So it's going to be interesting to see how that performs when I take it out bush, but that's, that's for the main blade, but if I pull out... I'll pull out the, uh, the carter, 
is the, the card that the name sends out with most of his kukri. However, this is one of the big things for me. It's always been a gripe of mine, uh, purely because I, I do have large hands. I'm a, I'm a big white guy. I'm not. I'm not Nepalese, so these handles are quite are quite small for me. And um, I, when I spoke to him about it, I gave him my dimensions, and he gave me what I ordered, which is this Carter. So if you if you can compare the two you'll see it's, it's quite a lot beefier and I can fit my entire hand around that handle with a little bit poking out. It's a bit wider as well. The grind is higher, makes it more slicey. And it's just, it, it is, it's very comfortable. The only thing that isn't overly comfortable with it, which I can't see myself doing too much of, is when you're doing carving, you do your power cuts where you reverse the blade this way and your chest lever cut your wood because this part here pokes into your hand. But with a standard grip, with the thumb running up the, the spine of the blade, that's gonna be, be very comfortable and I'm gonna be able to do that for a long time. The other thing that he changed, and um, he didn't have to, I mean, I, I don't think it would've changed the performance overly much, but whatever he did, it seemed to help, is I can throw sparks off this Chakma canal. Um, I mean, I could try to demonstrate, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, it doesn't throw sparks like in my demo of, of the knife my dad made me, but it does do it. So provided you have some char cloth or some kind of quick tinder along those lines that can catch a single spark and, and burn, this will get the job done, which is fantastic. And again, I'll show that in the review as one of my tests, because it's a requirement of, of the kukri that, that I've designed and, and it's, it's what I need. Uh, is there anything negative about this? Uh, if I'm being a complete perfectionist, then yeah, there's a couple issues. Uh, very small ones and, and they're mostly cosmetic. One is where you can see the runes inscribed here. If I'll try and twist that, you'll see that the other side is a little bit off. They're not in the same position. Um, and that, that's, that's not a big deal. It's, it's cosmetic and it doesn't worry me in the slightest. The only reason I pointed out is because I'm gonna speak to Neem and just highlight it to him. And hopefully he'll, he'll just go, okay, yeah, no problem, mate. Like the rest of them will just line it up, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, the other one which is, is partially functional is the fact that these, these uh, frog loops here are actually riveted in instead of the traditional way which is you use the button to secure it with the slide and these are supposed to have slits so you can adjust where that frog sits. Um, but that's it. Everything else with this is perfect. It's very lightweight, it's exactly to my specifications uh, 365 millimeter blade, uh, 13 centimeter or 130 millimeter handle. Fantastic, uh, under 700 grams of weight, so I'm happy to carry this on my belt. I plan on making a sling for it, actually, but I'd carry it on my belt happily for long periods of time. Uh, the the Chakmak is a, uh, it's a nine centimeter handle and an eight centimeter honing edge. Put that there, and then for the, the carter, it's a nine centimeter blade and a 10 centimeter handle, so you can fit your hand around that. Um, it's, it's exactly what I expected of Neem. It is, it is just a little touch off perfect with those little niggly bits that, are, that I'm being pedantic on. But other than that, it's fantastic. It's very well balanced, uh, actually, where's Here's a pen, this'll do. I'll show you a quick balance test right now. So it should be able to balance left and right, back and front, just on a, just on, on, on whatever, really. So I'll just chuck it on there and find the balance point of it. There you go, and give that a wobble. And it, it just sits there happily. So that's what you're after with the balance of the Kukri. Sometimes it might be a little bit further back, sometimes a little bit further forward, depending on, on what its functionality is. I wanted a multifunctional, do everything well blade. 
It's not going to chop as well as my thapa, but it will outmaneuver it. It's faster and uh, it's lighter. So there's that. It'll certainly outslice the thapa. But that's the thing, is you've got to work out what you want in these. Anyway, that's my introduction of my, my, my first commercial design actually being released. It's my Sundog Kukri and uh, it should be up on Gurkha's Blade very shortly on their website. Some people have already made orders. So, you know, get stuck in and uh, actually the last thing I'll show you is just a close up of this badge and the blade. I'll, I'll bring it around and I'll show you. So before I go, hopefully that's in frame. I might step back just a touch. And there you go. And it is, it is a thing of beauty. I love it. It's just so light. All right. So thank you very much. And um, I will try to get out bush in the next, however long it takes to be honest. Uh, and do the review where I'll do all of the standard tests, sheath retention, paper cutting, uh, wood cutting, edge retention, all the standard stuff. Thank you very much. Bye guys.